Hi guys, Joe Sib here. Today we're doing another Joe Sib car video and today we're doing another video on my 2002 Volvo V70 and today we're going to be replacing the rear number plate bulb holders. Well, mine are quite perished and actual fact, the bulb's just loose in the holder and well... I've managed to get into a scrap yard and I managed to get the bulb holders with the connector and not just slipped the wire and took the connectors and the bulb holder out of a 2005, 6 or 7. I actually don't know what year the V70 at the scrap yard is because there is no number plate to identify that. But I know it's a facelift. That's all I pretty much know. Yes, but I've got the number plate holder. And and bef before we get down to the car, uh, excuse the state of the car. It is quite dirty because I've been going through quite a bit, a bit of muddy areas. I was going to go to see my auntie, and she lives in a farm, so it's very muddy up there. So it's a muddy farm, so the car's quite dirty. So excuse the state. It's not normally as dirty as this. Let's get down to the car right now. Right, guys. Today we're going to be replacing the number plate lights. This is a number plate light holder. You might not see it when I just open this, the problem. It might not look fairly obvious. But obviously, look, you're not actually going to hear it from this angle. So I'm just going to go and grab my T25s. These are T25 screws that hold the number plate lamps in. Hopefully you can see. I'm just going to pull, go and grab a screwdriver. The bad one I do have, guys, is this one. The thing's literally fallen to pieces. So I'm going to take this apart. So now, should pull out, I'm going to go and grab a little flat piece and I'm going to be back. And hopefully you can see, but then to pull this out, you just, you angle it and you pull it towards this. So hopefully you can see, you pull it up towards the driver's side. And if you look. actual fact the breakage is here i don't quite get how someone has managed to break that now this is going to be a bigger job than initially planned because now it looks like i'm going to have to cut it and resolder that this holder itself looks okay so i'm just going to go and get my cutters Put that in for the time being. And remember flip catching. Make sure you got a weak battery. So there you go guys. Lucky fact I did take this as well. Because I'm literally all I'm gonna literally do is cut here and rejoin the other one on. And then we should be sorted. Right guys, just got my grenade now, I've just cut the wire to the old bulb holder. And there you go, just gonna resolder the ends on so it just strip the ends out. There you go. You have to be skillful with that. Yeah. Already unscrewed it from the light already, just undone that. Just undone the bulb holder. Mm. 
Maybe we got. Styles. that. Got some heat shrink. You want to heat shrink your solder joints. My dad just applied the solder to the wires. Stamp the solder to that. Do you test it? Mm. Looks like it's working. It was an easy one there. Just give it a quick bit of solder. We need, for the, we need to put the heat shrink over the solder joints now. They don't corrode.
can't get well right. Like I'll shrink them up properly. Let me check that Sussex that still functions. functions there we go guys I say you literally resolder a wire pretty much I'm gonna go and grab a lighter quick and just put that heat shrink down to size there you go just do a bit of heat shrink using a lighter I know you meant use a heat gun but kind of get it out Now guys, now we've done that job. Now just gonna pop that in. Hopefully you can see, just gonna put that in at the ledge. Double check that I haven't pinched anything, check that light still lights up. I can find the key. Do I have it? Yes, I do. Go now, get that T25 and I'll start that screw off. Always start screws off like this by hand because what you don't want to do is cross thread it. So now I'm just going to get this handled. So now I'm just going to snow them. That's it, you don't put them things in tight. So you're only screwing into plastic. And actually, like, this one's looking a little crap, so I'm just going to swap that one quick. I think the bulb in this one's okay, so I'm just going to swap the. Just a little. Yeah. Dim. So I'm going to swap that one over. I know my light fitting that side's okay. Repeat if it's just a, a lens. And you pull it out. Oh, I get a little. Oh, this one's terrible. That one is terrible. Ah, I think we we're gonna have to replace this one as well. Gosh, that is worse. Right guys, it got a bit dark as I started to film towards the end on the other side. It got dark, so we we did solder the other number plate bulb holder in on the passenger side I got that soldered on that had four wires yes yeah, so I got that all soldered up screwed back in and that's pretty much all back together now so yeah we did do that one off camera because it got dark and you're not really going to see anything at night but there you go guys we've solved the number plate lights I hope you found this video useful if you did Please give this video a thumbs up as that helps YouTube recommend my content. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any content like this. Share this video with your family and your friends and have a nice day.